Hello my Blender brothers and sisters, my name is Eric and because I love Blender you can call me Blenderic. In this video I want to give you a short introduction into my new Blender modeling video tutorial uh, which is coming soon, I hope. <laughs> so uh, my intention was actually to help the new Blender users to create easily 2D, I will call it 2D character because we are using just a perfectly flat uh, component for our character and actually to make, make it very easy and uh, get the quick results by using the child-parent relationship and uh, just changing the pivot point of the components to make it rotate around you know, the way we need. So, that was actually inspired by uh, working with a flash animation software and things, but I didn't have any, any knowledge of that kind of animation, so I decided because I had some experience with the Blender already, so I wanted to give it a try in Blender. So as you can see, this character, Michael Jackson-ish, it's from a, from a front view by pressing 1, I can see perfectly uh, from view, but when I press 3 and I go to side view, you see that there's actually just a, a bunch of flat components, yeah, so from view again, and from uh, by pressing control 1, I'm going to back view, you see what is going on here, so go back to front view, and you see I have my head selected, and by pressing R, I can, I can just rotate the head, or pressing G, I can move it slightly like that. It's kind of moves Michael Jackson likes to do. Oh, just, I mean, rest in peace, Michael, King of Pop, definitely, any doubt. So, and you see that this this is just a edited. I mean, plain. Okay. And uh, the eyes are actually made just from, from circles. Each eye uh, is actually combined from a few, actually in this case, four circles, different size and different uh, material applied to it. Why I did it this way? Because it gives me like a, a nice control about. Uh, Changing the expression, you see, I can select both eyes and by pressing G easily to move them around like this. So we put the hair and just the same thing. He's his neck. to rotate up a portion of the body are getting like that. You can rotate his arms, you can rotate his legs, every everything is set. And to make it more interesting for his face I have applied some shape keys for example this one is a smile so if i will increase the value my phone is gonna be smiling and pressing at 12 i'm getting a quick render of what i have what i see what i can have in my, in my scene So yeah, really, you can have a uh, lot of fun and get it done pretty quickly. So and it's, it's really a simple thing to do. It's actually all about. You see, for example, with his hat. You just need to set the pivot point to 
this spot and then it's going to be rotating so now just let just his eyes here a little bit like this his arm This one, and that one, and the team and touch. Like that. Press that 12 again. And yeah, you see. So, this way, I mean, because the components are actually positioned one in front of another, and these things like that. Uh, it gives very nice uh, deep depth, you know, to our, our final render because you can see you can see the shadows in here and everything. And I've got the edge enabled here, so it creates nice cartoonish effect here. So uh, I've got the similar character done. Mr. 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 Bean and Blender. Here, group, a pen. This one is a little bit bigger. In both uh, for both characters, I've got the empty as a main manipulator. Just easy, uh, make it easier for me to move the character around my scene. All right. Let's see. Both of them together. Let's see. And the rendering takes a lot, a bit more time because I'm recording. So. And with the Mr. Bean character, you can even work with this. I Creating nice environment around them, and then like, your your fantasy world. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you very much for your attention, and I'll see you soon.